ショモン、アクダガワ・リュウノスケ。At dusk of one day, one man was waiting for the rain to stop under Rashomon. He was the only man to be under the large gate. In Kyoto, a big earthquake, a big fire, and famine occurred during these two or three years. Therefore, Kyoto had been completely deserted. In such a situation, Rashomon had gone to ruin. A thief settled down in Rashomon, and corpses had been carried there. Therefore, the people were afraid and did not get close to Rashomon when it became dark outside. This man had been fired from the workplace four days ago. His mother was not able to pay him the salary, too. He worried about starving to death. He had to become a thief so that he does not starve to death. However, he did not have the courage to work as a thief. Because night gradually grew, he decided to go up to the room in the gate to get some sleep. He went up the stairs of the gate little by little, but he noticed a dim light in the room in the gate and stopped in the middle of the stairs. He was convinced that there are only corpses in the room in the gate. However, somebody really had turned on the light in the upper room. He held his breath. And he climbed the stairs little by little calmly. He peeped carefully into the room after he arrived at the top of the stairs. When he looked inside, and according to rumor, some bodies were thrown away. He covered his nose because of the bad smell of unintentionally decomposing bodies. And he looked at a human being who was crouching down in those bodies. It was an old woman looking like a monkey with gray hair. She wore an old kimono and was short and thin. The old woman was looking with a burning chip of wood to look into the face of one corpse. Because the hair was long, probably the corpse would be a woman. The man forgot to breathe and stared at the actions of the old woman. The old woman. Begun to pull hairs one by one from the corpse. As one hair of the body fell out, as for him, a sense of fear gradually faded away. On the other hand, he had begun to feel intense anger for the old woman. He felt anger for every evil. He would choose to starve to death if he became a thief. He blocked the old woman who was going to escape in a hurry. He asked the old woman strictly what she was doing. The old woman answered that she was going to sell the hair which she pulled as a wig. The old woman said that the body of this woman that she pulled the hair was a person who fain cut dried snakes as dried fish and she sold it. The old woman said that it was not a bad thing for what she had done. Because the woman would have starved to death if she had not done it. Therefore, the old woman said that the body of the woman would forgive for what she'd done. While he heard the story, the man regained calmness and he made his decision. He told the old woman to remind her that he might steal something from her because he would starve to death if he did not steal. And he stripped off the kimono which the old woman was wearing and ran out of the room. And nobody knew his later whereabouts.